the mental awareness is the ability to have an objective third person view of yourself. So being able to separate the self image of who you think you are versus reality. So like everyone here is good at math. I don't care if you think you're not good at math. Everyone's good at math. Your brain is designed to be good at math. You're not good at math because you keep telling yourself that you're not good at math. Every decision you make in your life is a vote for who you want to be. Okay. So when you're in third grade and your teacher tells you that you're bad at math and you start telling yourself you're slow at math and you tell yourself that 10,000 times from then until now, then you believe that you're bad at math, which makes you bad at math. Right. That's having low mental awareness. Okay. Again, everybody has those two. Okay. I'm not good at technology. I see a lot of old people. They're like, oh, I'm bad at computers. Why are you bad at, I, there's no reason other than they believe that they're bad at computers. So that's mental awareness. Above that, you've got mental cognition. This is your ability to problem solve, think critically and prioritize. This is divergent thinking. This is your skill set with divergent thinking. Okay. Does that make sense? How you judge risk reward ratios. Okay. Prioritization, how you decide what you should work on now versus later, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Above that, you have business principles. Again, so this is like your values and beliefs about how to run a business, okay? So what is your, like, understanding what your North Star is, your BHAG, your, your central goal. BHAG stands for Big, Hairy, Audacious Goal. It's a business term, okay? So in, in other words, what is your mission of your company, okay? Um, do you focus on cash flow or profits, okay? Amazon focused on cash flow, and they're, like, one of the biggest companies in the world now, all right? But do you focus on profits? Like, you have different different ways that you value these things, right? How billionaires look at value and why this will change your life. So the idea of providing value to make money starts way before the process of actually making money, okay? So most people believe that it's all about the tactics and strategies. In fact, that's why your questions keep relating to tactics and strategies for the most part, because that's what everybody believes it is, right? Um, but it's actually much simpler and deeper than that. So you have to be valuable to create value. Like, and when I say valuable, I don't mean like, I'm morally valuable as a human being. Like, I don't mean that. I mean, like, you have to be financially valuable. And I don't mean it's confusing. I don't mean in terms of you need to have money. I mean in terms of you need to, again, understand the rules of the game, and you need to have the right character traits and belief systems before you can even build a skill set, OK? So the more valuable you are, the easier creating value will be, OK? So what makes someone valuable? OK, again, this is not moral value. This is like financial value, right? So there's five layers to value, OK? The top layer is your business processes. This is how to make a cold call, okay? If you have the skill set versus if you don't, you're gonna be more valuable, obviously. Underneath that is your business disciplines. Business disciplines is like your understanding of accounting, your understanding of sales, your understanding of marketing as a whole, right? If you have that, you're gonna be even more valuable than just having the top layer. Underneath that is your business principles. This is the big picture, your understanding of how business works as a whole. Because business is just a bunch of individual systems that work together collectively. So you have to understand the whole picture, right? It's like if, if you were a car mechanic and you only understood how the brakes work and you just had no idea how the engine worked, you wouldn't be that valuable, right? Um, and then underneath that, you have mental cognition, okay? And then even underneath that, the deepest layer, the highest leverage point of value is mental awareness. So each layer builds on top of the next. So if you're missing mental awareness, for example, you're going to be unable to provide any level of high value whatsoever. Okay? So starting from, I'm going to start from the bottom actually and work my way. So starting from the bottom, mental awareness. This is literally your self-awareness. Okay? So how aware of, you, uh, of yourself, your habits, your tendencies, these things that are repeating over and over again in your life. Okay? Having a high level of self-awareness is when you can focus on the patterns of your thoughts instead of the thoughts themselves. Okay, so like for example, if you're like, start to realize like every day at 12:30 I have this craving for peanut butter, right? If you can be conscious of that, then you can build your life in a way to where you will a no longer have the craving for peanut butter, and b you can solve that problem once and never have to solve it again because otherwise you're solving that problem every single day at 12:30, right?